Dad, how did the SR-71 fly at over three times the speed of sound? Was it just raw engine power? Engine power helped, but the real secret was aerodynamics and heat management. Everything about the SR-71 was designed to reduce drag and handle extreme temperatures. So what made its shape so special? Its fuselage was long and needle-like to minimize wave drag, and the wings were delta-shaped to stay stable at high speeds. But the magic was in the inlet spike on each engine. The pointy thing in front of the engines? Exactly. At low speeds, the spike sits forward, but as speed increases, it moves backward, precisely controlling the shockwave position to compress incoming air before it hits the engine compressor. That helps at Mach 3? Hugely. It lets the engine operate efficiently by slowing supersonic air to subsonic speeds. That's called a shock trap, and it turns the engine into a partial ramjet at high speeds. What about friction? Doesn't the air heat the skin like crazy? It does. The skin reaches over 600 degrees Fahrenheit. That's why the entire aircraft was made from titanium alloy, which handles heat and expands during flight. In fact, the plane leaks fuel on the ground and seals midair once it heats up. That's wild, so it flies better hot? Yep. At Mach 3, the SR-71 actually becomes more aerodynamically stable as it heats up. Its performance sweet spot is in the high stratosphere, cruising at 85,000 feet. So it's not just fast, it's a thermally optimized bullet? Exactly. Aerodynamics, material science, and smart engine integration made the Blackbird a legend.